Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So I want to carry on with the video that I was doing yesterday talking about inflation expectations. Because I tell you, I had a few people in the comments section tell me that I was ignorant. And then they go to give me a one sentence reason on why inflation is running as hot as it is. I tell you, I put together articles, speeches, thoughts, analogies. I come out here pretty much every single day to try and give you logical reasons to look at things differently than what the mainstream media or pretty much every other YouTuber out there is trying to tell you. And yet I'm being told that I'm ignorant. Really? I mean, I don't know what it is that I'm supposed to do to try and like put a channel together. I mean, I could go and watch somebody else's YouTube channel and just parrot them if you like, if that's what you want to see. But I'm not into that stuff because I'm not into faking things. I mean, I tell you, I don't have anything to sell. That's very rare for a YouTuber out there. Almost everybody has something to sell. I don't. Even if I wanted to sell you something, I don't have anything to sell. Unless you wanted to buy a hoodie, I have that. So now, when it comes to like the information that I'm giving you guys, I'm not trying to convince you of anything. I'm not trying to be convinced. We don't have anything to do with monetary policy. It's not up to us. What we do is try and figure out what it is that's happening outside of the outside there in the economy and try and direct our lives in the best fashion we can considering the positions that we are in. That's it. That's what I'm trying to do here. Now, a lot of people will disregard all that information. They just want to see how everything is going to go to hell. And they don't want to hear anything differently from that. Go watch somebody else's channel. I'm not going to tell you that. I mean, I am just simply not going to tell you that because I don't believe it. I believe at some point things will get better. Things always get better. Okay. They do seem bad now and they probably will get worse for a lot of people in a lot of ways. But at some point things do get better. Everything shifts. Everything turns. Now, I was talking about inflation expectation yesterday, saying that inflation expectation is really what causes inflation, but it's not just inflation expectation that causes inflation. Inflation expectation also messes with the interest rates, and this is something that you have to think about for just a minute. Look at the speech. I'm going to leave a speech down in the description for you guys. It's one that I've referred to many times. It's John Williams' speech talking about how you're going to deal with a low interest rate world. They knew that they were going to run into the lower bound, talking about the Federal Reserve. They knew that they were going to hit zero interest rates and that dropping the Fed funds rate was no longer going to be an effective tool for stimulating the economy. They knew this day was going to come. But they said, that's okay, we got ways of dealing with it. Now, one of the ways of dealing with it was going all the way back to that Ben Bernanke speech talking about credible threats. Okay, this is where they put out the idea that there is going to be an issue coming into the future and hopefully that idea will force the markets to behave in a certain direction. We saw a great example of this with the special purpose vehicles when it came to buying corporate debt. The Federal Reserve said that they were going to be buying corporate debt. They established a special purpose vehicle, which was like an entity away from the Federal Reserve. They funded it with the Treasury, loaded it up with billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. Bought a little bit of corporate debt, but that credible threat alone was enough to spark a huge wave of corporate buying throughout the markets. Just the belief that the Federal Reserve was going to be buying into the corporate debt forced the markets to try and front run the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve sat back and didn't have to do anything. The markets did, took care of business for them. Credible threats. This is one of the methods that the Federal Reserve uses on a regular basis. So when it comes to inflation and inflation expectation, listen to John Williams' speech. Listen to what he says. When policy is constrained by the effective lower bound, the downshift in inflation expectation raises real interest rates. When a downward in inflation expectations, right? When a downshift in inflation expectations raises the real interest rates. Now, I mentioned this to a few people, like, you know, I said, what do you think of that? What do you, when you hear that, what, do you, what does that make you think? And they were like really confused by it. The drop in inflation expectation raises real rates. I don't get it. What does that mean? Well, imagine yourself being an investor. You're anticipating getting a 3% return on your investment, but inflation is running 1%. 
So the real interest rate that you're going to get is 2%. You see, if inflation was running at 2%, the real interest rate that you would get is 1%. So now, when inflation expectation is low, the real interest rate rise. Remember Donald Trump? There's no inflation. The Fed should be printing money. He was dropping the inflation expectation and raising the real rates. Well, what's happening right now? The inflation expectation is jumping way up there. Well, what happens to the real rates? they come down. Well, if real interest rates are coming down because inflation expectation is running so high, does that not give the Federal Reserve the ability to raise interest rates to make up for the fact that the inflation expectation is running as high as it is? Remember, if inflation expectation rises, real interest rates drop. Now they can raise the interest rates to make up. This is something to think about. Go and read that speech. I mean, he straight up said in that speech that they were going to let inflation run extra hot for extra long for an extended period of time to make up for the fact that they had not achieved their inflation goals over the last 10 years. They say it right here in the speech. We know from Ben Bernanke's speech that they were going to establish credible threats during this time because they knew that dropping interest rates wasn't going to be an effective tool. All this stuff was done on purpose to keep the economy from falling into a deflationary spiral. Shut down the economy. Take all those inventory. Get it out of here. You can go ahead and print up as much money as you want. It doesn't matter. The expectation is what we're looking for. And we're getting it now. The real interest rates are dropping. Dropping dramatically. And the Federal Reserve will soon have the ability to raise those interest rates. To make up for that fact. This is very, this was something that I tried, like, I was talking with a friend about it. I was trying to explain it to him, and he still, I don't think he quite got it. I mean, I'm thinking he's getting it now. But this was a very difficult thing to try and wrap your head around. You know, that the inflation expectation rises, dropping the real interest rates, giving the ability to the Federal Reserve to raise the interest rates to make up for this inflation expectation that is happening. Very confusing stuff. But anyway, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you guys for that. I'm going to leave a link down in the description for the Ben Bernanke speech because I figured those two speeches are probably the most critical speeches that are playing out right now. And that if you could really grasp the idea of what it is that they were trying to say in those speeches, you would see that they are definitely playing out. Um, what else did I want to include in there? I don't know, there's probably something else I wanted to say too, but I can't think of what it was. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.